Ding it. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I lost the music. Dang it. But in any case, uh, we'll go ahead and do the next segment, which is Jeopardy on the PS3. Yeah, I was trying to play the opening music for this part, but I accidentally clicked the X. Oh, well. It happens. And now my computer locked up. Oh, no, it didn't lock up. Sorry, I thought my laptop locked up on me. Sorry, I thought my computer locked up on me there for a second. So I'll go ahead and get the music cues up again. We'll play a little bit of the first music cue. That was good play. There we go. turned off for some reason. We'll just start over. All right, let's try again. We'll just skip all the motions and everything, and we'll just get going. Sorry for the technical difficulties, everybody. is Jeopardy! Please welcome 
Carlton, our contestant. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Rocks and minerals. Not a verb. All about authors. Dirty, rotten scoundrels. Olive oil. And TV nostalgia. Player one. In the early 1920s, she scandalized Atlanta society by doing a provocative dance at a debutante ball. Okay, player one. Good for you. Mark Twain said, I came in with this in 1835. It is coming again next year, 1910, and I expect to go out with it. He did. Okay, player one. You are correct. You, he wrote his last short story, The Betrothed, shortly before his play, The Cherry Orchard. Yes, player one. <gasps> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the response we were looking for. Anton Chekhov. Player this one. novelist who wrote about gorillas in Congo passed away in 2008. It's player one. Yeah! <laughs> you, his father disapproved of his poetry writing. So Chile's Naftali Ricardo Reyes Basualto adopted this pen name. It's player one. That's it. <laughs> player one. Pick again. This woman with a reputation as a hard-drinking, foul-mouthed ruffian claimed she married Wild Bill Hickok. Okay, player one. Yep. <laughs> player this one. company helped track down Black Bart, the bandit who'd robbed its stagecoaches about 27 times. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player Some one. say Arizona Donnie Clark was just overprotective, but she's infamously known by this name. Player one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You, a ballad ends, they'll bury them side by side. To few it'll be grief, to the law a relief, but it's death for them. Player one? Hey, you're right. You, answer, it's the Daily Double. And you have answer this. Harry Longbaugh got this nickname after serving time in a Wyoming prison for horse theft. That puts you even further ahead. Please pick again, player one. Capable, succeed, accomplish. It's player one. Correct. You paint, brush, easel. Player one? <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. So, wind, wander, wonderful. Okay, player one? Yes. <laughs> you salt, pepper, sage. Yes, player one? That's right, way to go.
Candor, center, canter. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> player one. Most U.S. produced olive oil comes from this state, so watch out, you dancing raisins. Okay, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player it's one. It's pure and delicious. The oil that's the cold-pressed result of the first pressing of olives is extra this. It's player one. Good. <laughs> player Here's one. a pH test. All olive oils are graded in accordance with the degree of this they contain. Lower is better. It's player one. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Woo. Player this one. Greek dish of lamb marinated in olive oil and spices, grilled and skewered, gets its name from the Greek for skewer. Let's hear it, player one. Right you are. Please. This L.A. area institute's famed olive wok is harvested for olive oil named for the school. It's player one. Yeah! That is correct. <laughs> player one, back for its state mineral, Colorado chose rhodochrosite which is a deep shade of this primary color. Player one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Woo. This blackboard rock is formed when shale is subjected to immense heat and pressure. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> player Galena one. Galena is the principal ore of this metallic element, symbol PB. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player Scoria, one. Scoria, a dark glassy rock created from this, is heavier than pumice and has bigger holes. Player one. Oh. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? We're talking about lava. Player one. On the Mohs scale, this mineral can be scratched by every other mineral. Yes, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response is talc. We return to you. In an animated 1987 TV special, this space age family traveled back in time to meet the Flintstones. Player one. Good. <laughs> Player in the one. pilot for this 60s sitcom, Jed and Jethro first meet Mr. Drysdale when he comes to get them out of jail. It's player one. That's correct. <laughs> player the one. 1973 TV season gave us Richard Roundtree as this super cool private eye he'd played on film. Player one. Right. <laughs> you, according to his theme song, Mr. This will never speak unless he has something to say. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> and now the thousand dollar clue. In the 50s, this movie Tarzan was still hanging out with a chimp, but he wore more than a loincloth as TV's Jungle Jim. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right you are. <laughs>
Okay, we have player two in third place, which means that player two will go first in the double jeopardy round. Categories for the double jeopardy round are Leave me. Accentuate it. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. Countries by newspaper. Literary great escapes. And historic names. Player two, you start. In 1955, Ngo Dinh Diem became the first president of this country that no longer exists. It's player one. Good. <laughs> player one. This Apache tried to keep peace with the Pale Faces, but after his death, his son joined with the militant Geronimo. Yes, player one. Oh. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Cochise. Answer. <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. You are currently in the lead. How much? Here is your clue. In 312, emboldened by the sight of a cross in the sky, this man defeated the Emperor Maxentius and seized Rome. However, you keep your lead. The correct response is Constantine. Player one. Margaret Roper, who died in 1544, is said to have been buried with the head of this utopia author, her father. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Right you are. Player Vienna's one. Vienna's imperial palace is now home to the president. In Mozart's time, it was home to the head of state, this archduchess. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. In this language of the British Isles, you'll see accent marks on the letter W. Yes, player one? <laughs> right you are. <laughs> player Spanish one? Spanish words with the stress on the last syllable have accent marks only if they end in N, S, or one of these. Player one? You got it. <laughs> so you may ask why this language has an accent mark in its word for why. Per qué? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> so here's Sarah to start us off. In poetry, it's a foot or metrical unit consisting of an unstressed followed by a stressed syllable. Okay, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. An I am. Please. Some Shakespeare editions use accents to clarify meter, as in this man's the time is out of joint, O oh, cursed spite. Player one? Yeah. Good for you. You get to pick again, player one. The Sydney Morning Herald, the Queensland Independent. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. Player the one. Shitsuoka Shimbun, the Nikan Ubejiho. It's player one. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. You Avanti, il messaggero. Yes, player one. <laughs> yep. 
Player one, Haaritz Ma'ariv. Player one. <laughs> Player one. Yelens Poston, Politiken. Yes, player one. Yep. <laughs> player one. Pick again. Some consider the Hannibal variety of these made from 100% Havana seed leaf the world's finest. It's player one. <laughs> That's right. Way to go. Yeah. Woo. Select bags of this leafy vegetable from Natural Selection Foods were at the center of a September 2006 E. coli outbreak. Yes, player one? Yep. We, like humans, leaves have an exterior epidermis and an interior arrangement of these vascular tissues. Yes, player one? Player well, the macrocystis genus of this seaweed can grow fronds up to 200 feet long. Let's hear it, player one. Yep. <laughs> this fragrant leaf of the laurel tree is sold commercially as a seasoning. Yes, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. In this 1852 work, Eliza makes a harrowing escape across a frozen river from a slave trader named Halley. Let's hear it, player one. That's it. You, by clinging to the belly of a ram, this mythological figure escaped from the cave of the Cyclops. It's player one. That's correct. <laughs> Player Henri one. Charrier recounted his numerous escape attempts from French prisons in South America in this work. Player one. Yeah! Mm. <laughs> Player in one. In the Deerslayer, this character escapes from the Hurons when Chingachgook helps to free him. Yes, player one. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> player one. Pangloss keeps his incorrigible optimism intact when he escapes an incompetent hangman's noose in this satire. Yes, player one. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Player one. As a solo artist, his presenters were ex-bandmates, not the Beatles, but the traveling Wilburys. Okay, player one. That's not it. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we were looking for. George Harrison. Player one. In 1986, it was Hail Hail, this 1950s performer, the very first inductee. Let's hear it, player one. Oh, no, sorry. Anyone else? We're talking about Chuck Berry. Player one. <laughs> Answer. The second daily double. And you're in the lead now. What are you going to wait for? The clue. Artists become eligible this many years after their first release. The Beach Boys went in in 1988. Springsteen in 1999. You have maintained your lead. Way to go.
Layer one. This singer is paired with her ex-husband and songwriting partner, Jerry Goffin. Yes, player one? That's not it. Any other takers? Here's what we were looking for. Carol King. Here's the $2,000 clue. Here's Sarah with the clue. The electric guitar casts a long shadow over rock and roll. In 1995, the Hall inducted this inventor of the iconic Stratocaster. Yes, player one? Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player two. Correct. <laughs> Oh, sorry, player three. You'll not be progressing to Final Jeopardy. Here's the Final Jeopardy category. Before they were senators. Please enter your way. Here you are, players, the Final Jeopardy clue. Later a U.S. senator, in 1962, he made a famous 75,000-mile trip. Go for the next segment, everybody. Your response? And that oh. will set you back. Did you come up with the correct response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Congratulations, Woo! player one. <laughs> you are our new champion. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>